Welcome back. Uh, today's going to be pretty different than a normal day. Um, today we're not going to talk about data science exactly, um, but I'm going to talk about uh, something um, that's common in data science, and I think common for for a lot of uh, uh, a lot of people, um, a lot of people in STEM fields, and and especially in data science, um, and that is imposter syndrome. So, so I don't love the name. Um, I don't really think of it as a syndrome, but it is a, a, a common problem people have. And really, it's, it's about doubting your accomplishments and having this, this common fear that people are going to find out that you've like snuck your way in or, or whatever. So there's a lot of different ways that, that people um, use words to describe that feeling. Um, sometimes they say, hey... I just got really lucky, or I was in the right place at the right time, or uh, I'm only here because people like me, or um, if I can do it, anyone can, right? Uh, I had connections, they felt sorry for me, all that kind of stuff. So so maybe that's resonating with some of you, maybe it's not, um, but uh, just to talk a little bit about why it's common, um, or how common it is, uh, Maya Angelou, um, said this uh, i've written 11 books and each time i think uh oh they're gonna find me out uh, i've run a game on everyone and they're gonna find me out um in case in case you don't know who she is there's literally a wikipedia page called list of honors received by maya angelou um this is a common thing that that uh some researchers estimate 70 percent of people feel this way sometimes and sometimes I feel this way. Uh, last week, I was in a meeting, and uh, it was on a project that had not gone very well. I was thinking about other projects that hadn't gone very well. And, and I had this thought where I was like, huh, you know what? Maybe my company would be better off if I quit. Like, maybe I'm not adding to the, the company in the way that everyone else thinks I am. Um, and, you know, some of you probably think, hey, you know, you seem like a, a, you're doing OK at this. But, um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to confess some stuff that, you know, maybe maybe you'll be surprised by. So, like, I've never done deep learning like TensorFlow or um, any of that. Um, I've never used a GPU for any of these things. Um, I don't have a degree in computer science or statistics. And in fact, I really am self-taught on on computer science. Um, I I never really was formally taught how to code. Um, I really only code in Python, right? I don't know multiple languages and all the rest. And so sometimes when I look around at what everybody else has done, it's easy to say like, oh, man, I'm just not very qualified. <laughs> so so I want to talk a little bit about why this feeling, I'm going to call it imposterism because imposter syndrome sounds scary to me. Like it's some sort of um, uh, uh, medical condition. Um, but why imposterism might be more common in data science. Uh, so one thing is it's new, right? Um, and it's not very well defined. And so uh, when something's new and not very well defined, like it's easy to uh, be uncertain about what's going on and where the edges are and all the rest. Um, it's also a combination of a bunch of different fields. And so it's rare uh, to have somebody be um, an expert at all of them. Um, basically never happens. Um, and then it's also constantly new, right? So, so not being well defined, having a bunch of fields all put together, and constantly expanding means you're. It's just hopeless that you uh, know it all. So, so here's a diagram I like, um, showing sort of what other people know and and what I know. And I think that uh, when, when somebody has imposterism, they they look around and they say, oh my God, I know so little about this stuff. Other people know all this stuff and they're so much better than I am. But what's actually happening is each other person has, has a circle. Some are going to be bigger than yours. Some are going to be smaller than you. You know, that's fine. Um, but nobody has that whole yellow area, right? Uh, what happens is, is there's there's a lot of people that make up little pieces of that. Interestingly, there's a couple corollaries to this. So, so one of them is that diversity is a good thing in, in a lot of different ways. But one of them is in this way that you can learn from those other people um, and that exactly zero people know everything in data science. And so keeping folks around that have non-overlapping circles or circles that overlap enough to collaborate, but not, not the whole area is super important. 
Another corollary is that it means every single data scientist is learning on the job, right? You have to constantly be picking up new uh, techniques and ideas, and that will not stop when you leave school. It's going to keep happening. So now what? Um, well, one thing is uh, studies have shown one of the most effective interventions for uh, imposter feelings is talking them through with trusted peers, right? So, so just naming this and talking about it will uh, hopefully help you feel a little bit better about what's going on. Um, I encourage you, if you're having these feelings, to, to reach out to people um, and talk to them, uh, talk to mentors or, or instructors or peers. Um, it's also super important to note that this doesn't affect everybody equally, and some people uh, uh, maybe don't feel enough of this. Um, and so a certain amount of humility is healthy, right? Um, when I say that I don't know everything in, in data science or, or that other people are much better at me, that that's not false modesty. Like, like really, <laughs> that's that's deeply true. Um, and I also it's it's important to recognize that luck and privilege play a huge role in your life, right? Um, I I was able to get an exceptional education in part because my parents sacrificed a lot uh, to send me to good schools and. Uh, I was lucky to be healthy and I'm a, a white dude, which, which comes with a lot of advantages and, and all sorts of things, right? Um, the flip side of this is that while humility is healthy, paralyzing fear is not healthy, right? So, so when these feelings of imposterism cause you to, like I was thinking last week, to like quit my job, that would be a disaster, right? I, I think that would actually be bad for the company. It certainly would be bad for me. Like that's not not a healthy way to express uh, y y these feelings. All right, so, so another way forward is that you need to, over your whole life, patiently cultivate the skills to do your job well, right? So that means having a plan, um, being being patient, um, signing up for a lifetime of learning and growth, and you will continue to get better at these things. Another uh, important coping mechanism that I'm sure you're all aware of uh, is that your personal plan and other people's public presentations often will diverge. Um, and you know, I'm, you're all aware of this with social media and how people present things and, and how it's not an accurate representation of their life, but that's true for career stuff too, right? A lot of people uh, are exaggerating their successes, hiding their failures, uh, and, and talking in, in ways online that make it sound like everything is going super good for them. But the way that that is presented may not match what's happening, right? Um, Okay. There's also a few community-wide ideas for how to uh, reduce this imposterism. So, so one thing is we should get comfortable as a community just saying we don't know things, right? Um, it's great to say you don't know things. Um, pretending that you do causes that gap to stay. It causes people to not trust you, all those kind of things. Asking questions is great. Um, that's how you learn. When you learn things, Share them. Um, one problem we have often in the community is that there's a lot of beginners and then intermediate folks that have, have learned a technique, gotten pretty good, they're afraid to start teaching until they're experts. But by the time you're an expert, it can actually be hard to teach beginners because you, you sort of forgot where that gap is. You did it so long ago. So um, sharing what you're learning even before you're an expert is really good. Um, I often think about this XKCD comic, right? So, so for those who haven't been through it, um, the the punchline is for something that everybody knows, right? This idea that that um, uh, everybody on Earth or everybody in the U.S. would would know something, that means that ten thousand people need to learn about it every day because that's just the number of people that are um, are, are born and dying and, and sort of that that transition, right? So, so we have this huge learning even with something that everybody knows. Um, every tool that I use, I had to learn about at some point, right? I, I did not. <laughs> um, and that's true for you too. So 
so so I guess the thing I'd say with with these feelings is that that what I try to do is invite them in, remind myself uh, about why I have those feelings, uh, that that humility is good, that paralyzing fear is bad, um, and that the way through is to recognize it and do good work. So recognize it and do good work.